All right, so here we're going to use WX maxima to expand uh, algebraic expressions. So we've got uh, x plus y to the fourth, x plus 5 cubed, and then we'll, we'll even expand this one. And you, you can see what, what WX maxima can actually do. It's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, the x squared plus 3x minus 2, all of that cubed. So let's just enter in each one of them, and, and let's, let me show you what they do. Uh, now let's, let's get maxima open. All right, so uh, the first one we had was uh, we have x plus y to the fourth. Okay, now there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Uh, we've got x plus y uh, raised to the fourth. We hit enter. Okay, so that just enters in that expression. And if we want to expand it, we can just type in expand parentheses. Now, if you've watched my other videos, remember to recall this answer. Okay, WX maxima will recall the previous answer. All we do is type in the percent symbol, and what that does is expand, and then the percent symbol recalls this. It'll put that in there. And we hit enter, and there it is expanded. Okay, so yeah, I know you, you probably don't want to type this in and type expand and then percent. You may just want to type expand and then the expression and that's fine. You can do that. So let's do that on the next one. So for the next one we want to expand x plus 5 to the third. So expand parentheses and notice it pops the two parentheses. Okay, those parentheses is for expand and we want to expand uh, x plus 5 so there's two sets of parentheses, that's for our x plus 5, and then we'll move outside, and notice we're in between the two parentheses here. We want to raise that to the third power, and then we hit enter, and there it is. Okay, so you can either enter in the function, and then expand and recall the previous, or you can just type in expand, and just type the function in like it is. Okay, so let's do that last one and see. So we have expand, and then we have, uh, okay, so that parentheses for the expand, so everything that we want to expand goes inside those. So I need to put my polynomial in parentheses, so that's going to be x squared plus 3x. Now, you cannot type in 3x. Okay, you have to type in 3 times x minus 2. Move outside that parentheses, and then I'll raise that to the third power. And then we'll hit enter, and there it is expanded. All right, so, you know, I hope this helped. And, you know, this the expand function is right here on simplify, simplify expand expression. You hit that and it throws it in there. Okay, and all it did it was just I mean you, you would you would have to type your function in here. Okay. But but that's what it is. Or, you know, to me it's just, just as easy to type the word expand than to go up there and select it from the menu. Alright, so hopefully this helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and Thanks for watching.